Hello everybody and welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode 12 in a series of videos designed to help new players get started in Minecraft. And today what I really want to do is I want to set up a wheat farm. This steak is great but it's kind of unhealthy so we really need a tasty treat which isn't so healthy. And we also need some carbs so we're going to make a wheat farm so that we can grow some, eventually make some bread. Now my cottage is over there right in the distance. We, I've come all the way over here. Uh, to the edge of where these mountains are here and I've marked out where I want the farm to start um, and we're going to make a small simple wheat farm today and if we have some time we may also move on and do a sugar cane farm but I'm not sure on that because I will need to make up some buckets and collect water as well well actually we'll have to do that anyway so we'll see where we get up to uh, the first thing I want to do though is just go to slope get off of there you these farm animals they trample over everything give them an opportunity to Alright, so let's just grab some rest here and let's uh, begin. So the first thing we really need to do is clear out this land. And as you can see, it's full of tall grass. Now tall grass does drop seeds and seeds are what we use to plant in the ground to grow wheat. So to clear tall grass, just left click. You've probably seen me do this before and occasionally it will have a chance to drop some seeds like that one. Um, and then you can pick those up. I already have some seeds in my inventory from when we cleaned out the uh, ground for our cottage. Um, we've kind of fell quite lucky. Um, in a plains biome there is lots of tall grass. In certain biomes there is very little tall grass or in some cases none at all, such as in a desert. So we've fell kind of fortunate um, with this map seed. I really do like this map seed. Um, uh, if you want to use it, it's in the description, or you can download the world. Um, they're all available from within the description, so you can do whatever you want with those. Um, okay, so we've cleaned out the area, uh, other than the farm animals that are lying around, but they'll go away eventually. So I've obviously brought my bed over and my crafting table. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set out a layout for this farm, and I don't have a whole lot of cobble left, so we will have to go and collect some. Um... Blimey, there's monsters in there. Lovely. Well, what I'm going to do is, um... Let's, uh, collect some cobble. Oh, hello. See, this is what happens. You get distracted. You just, all you want is some cobble and you get distracted. Get out of here. Alright, we've let enough of this up. Let's just grab ourselves some cobble. I don't need a lot. A small amount shall do for this mission. I hear more of them around, so I'm going to stick to the daylight areas. I imagine that there will be uh, a large cave system around here. I don't really want to get into that right now. Yeah, there's something right below us. I can hear it. If we run out, I'll just collect more off-camera. I'm not going to spend the entire episode collecting cobble, because that's not really the emphasis of the tutorial today. The emphasis is to create a wheat farm. So, we've collected some cobble. A bit unorthodox for what I actually wanted to do, but... Never mind. That spider still out here. Yeah, never mind. I'm not interested in him right now. Let's just get back over here. And I'm going to start and dig out a plot of land. Now, I don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so that it looks nice. So, rather than me actually show you all of this going on, I'm probably going to time lapse it. Um, purely because there is just simply no need to show you all of this. But essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make rows. Um, here's where the wood is going to go in this slot here for where we walk. Then you're going to have two, in fact, three rows of, no, two rows of crops. We don't need three. Um, two rows of crops, water, two rows of crops again, wood, and then you want cobble here. And we're going to make this ten long, and this is going to have to get moved out of the way, isn't it? Because it's just being cluttered here. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, pick up this, and obviously, I'm going to have to uh, collect some wood, and I'm going to show you in this episode... Um, something called a bone meal 
and we're going to look at its properties about how it can grow things straight away. Um, and we're going to look at that for growing trees to make wood. So let's see, if we've got this in the middle, one, two, three, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wood, and we want the cobble then to be here. Okay, well I'm not going to time lapse it now, we've nearly done it. I thought I might have to, but it's okay. Let's just cut the rest of this out. All out of shovel. I did bring some iron over with me, so I'm not too worried about that. I've put the music on, uh, if you can hear it in the background, I'm not sure if you can or not. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to leave it on or turn it off, it might be quite annoying and distracting, like these farm animals. But um, yeah, so here we are, we've uh, cut a little patch out now, let's put down my crafting table, I'm going to need another shovel, I'm just going to make a stone shovel for what this is worth, and we need to cut a path straight down the middle. Um, oh, I ended up making... Oh no, it's two rows because I forgot we put the wood round. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's put the wood round now. Well, let's cut a place out for the wood now. Here we go. I'm going to get plenty of dirt out of this as well, which is going to be invaluable. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough because I know I wanted to make it ten long. Is this going to be enough slots? Three six nine this is only nine long so I'm gonna have to make this one longer um, I'm not very good with stuff like this um, I'm pretty terrible when it comes to building let's put you in here and let's move you around if there's any small alterations I'll make them off camera I just want to get the the general look and feel of it going so we've got that now we need to put the wood around it. Now I do have a little bit of wood but I don't have a lot of wood. So you fill this in with wood, try not to uh, place it wrong like I do. So we've placed the wood but as you can see we haven't got enough. Um, now I could go all the way over there or over there and collect some more or there is a tree right there but there's not still not going to be enough. So what we need to do is we need to plant a sapling uh, just by right clicking I've shown you how to do that before and then we make something called bone meal and bone meal is from bones that you can pick up from skeletons and what you can do is pop it in your crafting table or your small window and you have the potential to get three bone meal for each bone now we're only going to need three for right now and this bone meal can be used as a dye we can use it to dye wool um, and armor and we can also, well leather armor at least, and we can also use it to grow trees um, and crops. So to do that, just simply right click with the bone meal on the sapling and boom, there you go. Straight away, right off the bat, you've got a nice tree. Um, and in fact, I don't even have an axe to uh, cut it down with. So let's just, whoops, let's just break off the tree trunk. Um, and I'm going to make myself up an axe quickly here using this uh, wood. I'll just get some sticks here and let's make an iron axe. I have a ton of iron now. So I can make an iron axe and let's cut the rest of this tree down. Um, and obviously the saplings will still drop as normal um, from the tree. And you can continue to do this with your bone meal. Um, now handily, bones are an easy to require resource. All you need is some skeletons around at night time. Um, and you're well away. But if you play on peaceful, I know some people play on peaceful in this game, then acquiring bones could be quite difficult. The only way you'll find them is in temples, and we will look at those much later on. Um, bone meal has other uses which we will look at later in the episode, but for right now you can just right click and make them sprout up these trees. Um, I'm not going to do this, but if you make your own LPs you can do like a little boing sound effect if you really want to. Um, so I'm not going to need any of those, but we are going to need these. So let's just fill in the remainder of this gap. Like this. There we go. All finished. Now what I want to do is I want to dig a gap here. Straight down the middle. And we're going to need cobble again. And we want to go down one more. And we're going to fill this with cobble. Now I hope I'm going to have enough. Yeah, we are. 
Uh, you don't have to fill that in with cobble, but I like to do that. It looks a little neater. Um, so obviously these will decay and drop saplings, and I will collect them as they do. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a bucket, and we're just going to use this to collect water, as we would normally do. But the water is all the way over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft up two buckets. I know I have one back at the cottage, but I'm not running all the way back over there, uh, just for a bucket. So we now have two buckets, and we're going to make ourselves over here an infinite water spring. And I will off probably off camera or in another episode turn that into a well. For right now, we don't need to know how to do that. But to make an infinite water spring, you're going to need two buckets of water from an original source. Uh, for example, a lake or a pond or the sea, whatever it might be. And you're then going to need to cut a 2x2 two two square in the ground, like this. And you're going to need your two water buckets. Put one in one corner and then one in the other corner. And now you have an infinite water spring which you can get more water out of. And we're going to place this water right down in the middle um, of the stream there. And we're going to keep collecting this until we have filled it completely up with water. Um, but I am going to have to go to sleep again soon when the moon is up so that uh, we don't end up in a fight with all the monsters that are hanging around just waiting to pop up and try and eat us. We don't need that right now. All we need right now is to do this wheat farm. So yeah, uh, hopefully you're learning a lot in this episode. I'm covering a lot of stuff. So let's just jump in bed. And I promise we will get onto the actual farming very, very soon. Um, there we go. So we've filled this completely with water. You don't have to do this. As long as there's water running all the way from one end to the other, it'll work just fine um, and dandy. But I like to have it all flat because I'm OCD like that. <laughs> I can't have things looking out of place. That's just something I do. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good practice. And we got the infinite water spring out of it as well. So, yeah. Um, so, we've now created our little farm area. Um, and I will create some fences and a fence gate and put it all the way around later on. But we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, I will do that off camera because you've seen all of that before. Um, but now what we need to do is actually craft a tool to farm the soil. And we're going to need a hoe to do that. And a hoe is two sticks with two pieces of cobble. It can be facing left or right as long as it's two pieces of cobble. As if you were creating a pickaxe but without one on one side. And you will get a hoe. Now you can make a stone hoe, a wooden hoe or an iron hoe or a diamond hoe if you really wanted to use diamonds for that but I think that would be a bit of a waste um, since we don't use them that much actually you're kind of one use only really if you're lucky um, and you can hoe soil now you can hoe soil anywhere by right clicking on grass or dirt but this is not hydrated and eventually it will just revert back to dirt and then regrow into grass or if you jump on it so if you just stand there and hoe soil if you're quick enough, you can pop seeds in there, um, and they will grow, but they will grow very, very slowly. Um, it's kind of not really worth doing if you have water around. We're lucky enough to be now at a stage in the game where we can just move water around freely. But if you weren't, and you didn't have like the stakes like I do, you can just put, pop um, hose some soil right next to a lake, and it will work just as fine. But eventually, that will come back up and just revert to dirt. So we don't want that, we want a reliable farm. So to do that we need to hoe it next to the water and you just obviously right click using your hoe next to the water and it spreads for three blocks in any direction. Um, so that will be three blocks here. Although it might be four, I I've been told it's three and it's always been three for me but it might be four, I think they changed it but take it as three, I've only done two because that's all we need. Um, and then eventually soil becomes hydrated, it goes this darker colour um, and this darker colour um, indicates that it's hydrated and hydrated crops grow faster um, but that's about it really, they just grow a little faster um, certainly a lot faster than untilled soil that's for sure so we're going to hoe all of this um, and now we have some hoed soil and we can place our seeds down to grow this lovely wheat so to grow seeds you just simply need to get the seeds in your hand and right click on each um, dirt tile here, the, the uh, tilled soil tile and you can just right click and instantly 
that one has already started to grow. <laughs> um, miracle Grow. Uh, so yeah, um, again that one here. They don't grow with Miracle Grow, you know. Oh, what was that from? I don't know, I can't remember. But uh, back to the wheat. <laughs> um, back to the wheat. Uh, they have four stages of growth. This is stage one, the little shoots. Uh, this is stage two. Um, stage three is when they are a bit further up, and stage four is a fully grown crop. Um, there you go, that's gone back to normal soil now. Um, so the fully grown crop can then be harvested. If I pick this up now, I'll get my seeds back, but that's all I'll get. I won't get anything else back. Uh, so the yield is kind of pointless. It just moves it around, that's all. So, um, I would wait for it to grow and then show you on camera, but we have a quicker way to do it, and that is bone meal again. So we can use bone meal to instantly grow wheat, and to do that, just right-click, and you get a fully grown wheat crop. And then you can harvest wheat by simply left-clicking, um, and you'll get wheat and seeds back. Um, and obviously this wheat we will craft into bread in a minute quite handy that we've got three pieces of wheat now it will always drop at least one piece of wheat and I think a range between one and three seeds and when we get later on in the game and we look at enchanting we can increase our drop rate on these using something called a fortune enchantment but that's much later in the game don't worry about that for now just uh, this is all you need to know for a wheat farm so yeah that is pretty much everything and they will grow naturally and you can collect them as and when you feel it that you need some bread so uh, bread itself does not um, saturate as good as like meats but it is a, a good stable food source to have early in the game especially if there are no animals around such as if you're in a desert um, if you have some dirt and you're in a desert you're pretty much away because there are lakes in the desert so uh, to craft bread you need three pieces of wheat and you put it in the crafting bench weird I know I thought you would have put it in a furnace but this is the way that uh, Mo Yang have deemed it to make bread and you put it in the crafting window it's three pieces of bread sorry three pieces of wheat across in this row and you get one piece of bread and you can pick that up and you can eat it when you're hungry I'm not hungry right now because I'm still filled up and you will eat that um, and that provides an alternative so yeah, um, bread is not that great in terms of food. It takes a lot to craft bread. With the new 1.4 update, we have carrots and potatoes, which are a much better alternative. And we will look at farming those in perhaps a couple of episodes' time. I know in the... What the heck is that? I think it's a squid. Um, in the next episode, uh, we will look at sugarcane, um, and we'll set up a sugarcane farm. But I, I honestly don't know yet. We'll see. Um, I know there are some pumpkins just over there, but I want to do those to collectively together with melons. And to do that, we're going to have to do some trading uh, with the NPC village people. Um, so there's stage three, by the way, of the wheat crop. So villager trading will be coming up soon as well. Um, but yeah, that just about covers it. Um, to be honest, there's not a whole lot more to say about uh, wheat farms. That is pretty much it. So today hopefully you've learned quite a few different things between this and the world download going live I'm just gonna finish all this uh, off here um, by putting fences and a gate on it and I'll just use my uh, remaining bone meal to grow trees if I need to um, and that pretty much covers it so yeah I uh, hope that you found this episode useful and that you've learned something and hopefully now you can farm wheat in your survival worlds so let's just round the episode off here um, so yeah thanks for watching um, and I hope to see you again in my next episode um, I salute you um, and until then guys see you later and have a good day